another daily unboxing video where we are looking at the game Be Lives. We will only know summer, which includes the solo game mode if you like that. And then, so this game is a game about bees, I'm guessing. Worker placement resource management. And then this sticker, or card, I guess. Blacks, go away. Let me read it. Join the story of the untold lives of bees. In Bee Lives, you are a queen bee managing your hive and trying to ensure its survival. You'll have to collect honey and pollen, hatch new brood, and build more honeycomb. But what's going on outside your hive is just as important as what's happening inside. Your hive will swarm when it gets too big, and these newly formed wild hives will, comp will compete with you and other players for the available resources. Can you ensure that your hive will make it through the winter? And then we take off the plastic and take this card out that was blocking the little um, background, I guess. So this game yeah, says 1 to 4 players, 30 minutes per player, and then 14 and up. And there you go. So let's open this up see what's inside. very first thing we see is the rule book with a cover on it. Ooh, it's a nice, thick rule book. So here you, oh, it's not just thick in pages, but also nice, thick, quality paper. So here you got the introduction again, the components, more components on this page. Here you got the common area set up, more set up, player area set up. Ooh, lots of stuff in this game. Then it shows you inside your hive, how to play product product productive months. Ooh, I cannot read. And here you got the egg phase. Then the second one is feeding phase. Then brood phase. Then swarm phase. And then any more phases? Nope. Just says if you stay, if you leave, different things. Oh, and then the action phase. Aha, that's a trick. Then the cleanup phase. It's last, maybe. Yep. Then joining the map means something. Action details. Season resource chart. Then the different bees, I'm guessing. Scout. Raid. Raiding a player hive. Raid dice pool. Then raiding a wild hive. Then defense. Build wax. Clean bees. I'm guessing these are the different tiles you go on to. Cool hive. Oops, sorry. Then requeen. Okay, and then it tells you about wild hives. Dormant wild hives. Spring priority chart. Summer priority chart. Fall priority chart. Because obviously you have the three seasons before you hit winter. Then the wild hive raids. Raiding a player hive. There's a lot of stuff in this game. Raiding another wild hive. Winter upkeep. Feed your bees. Lose bees to disease. Ooh. Then, end of the game. Then you have queen types. And a little artwork there. Multiple years variant. And then the solo play. Strategy tips. Season cards. More of the season cards here with more artwork at the bottom. And then the solo play cards, which are the purple cards I see. Then credits. And then here you got the icon reference. And there you go. A giant rule book that took forever to go through. And then here you got a board that has spring, summer, fall, the different months. And then on the other side you got your bee being eaten. That's actually kind of creepy. Ew. Then here you got the player boards with the different, I don't remember what these are called, but it's when you collect the honey. It's one of those beehive things. So there you go. You got the board. You have the different spots here. And then all the different places you can put bees. That's cool. Everyone has the player board and all of them have the beehive thing. And then we also have these little rectangle pieces, which means something. You got the A side, B side, so I don't know what that means, but 
There you go. And then here's the other side. Ooh. Okay. I don't know what that symbol means, but that does not look like a very nice symbol. Oh, we have an icon reference. Hold on. It's a Veora mite. That doesn't sound very friendly. So then we have another tr board. So these are nice boards. They're a little bendy, but good quality overall. So here you got spring, summer, fall, then second spring. And then the little beehive. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Then you have a little scoring sheet, it looks like. One to 40 points. And then on the other side, you got artwork. Beads and rain. Then you have, ooh, a lot of punch boards. So here you got different flowers and plants that you're probably visiting. Here you have honeycomb pieces. Yep, that's just one singular piece. So the cardboard quality is still pretty nice for these as well. You have a little tornado. I don't know what that means, but it says no. Little black tokens. You got these pieces here. The 40 coin. And, yeah. Then we have another board that has the exact same thing. Which also has like this really weird token that does not quite match artwork wise. Which slightly bothers me, but maybe that's not important in the game, hopefully. There you go. Some more pieces here. So that was... Oh, okay. I noticed something. Here you got yellow tiles. Here you got green tiles. The next one you got red tiles with, once again, the same stuff on all the boards. And then you got blue tiles. And then the other side... Oh, I should have shown the other side. So on the other side is brown. You got the red stuff. And these are on the back. On the back is an 80 coin. Tornado. And, yeah. So those are all the punch boards. Inside, we got more stuff. Here we got cards. Now let's look at the cards first. Normally I look at cards last, but we're gonna change things up just a little bit and look at the cards first. So here, the month sequence. It just shows you the sequence of the month. And we kind of go through that. On the back side, you got victory points. Here you got spring and summer. The other side you got fall and winter, so these are more reference cards. Here you got the beginning of the flow, which shows symbols. And then, first bloom. In like a, ooh, there we go, it's, uh, bees getting eaten again. Non-stop rain, oppressive, oppressive heat, that's what it says. Out like a lamb, perfect weather, then... There's just a lot of different other cards like early fall, heat wave, humid days, late, late bloom, on guard. So these kind of look like little event cards, I'm guessing, buttoned up. Cooler temps, early winter. So, oh, so, okay, I'm kind of getting it now. So these are like spring cards, summer cards, fall cards, and then... Uh, these are these. I think these are the solar play ones because they're purple. So here you got builder, dirty bees, explorer, the great migration, indecisive, the mother hive, and then a bunch of other cards which do stuff at the bottom. Like keep your original queen for the entire game. This means you must choose a new hive location every time you swarm. Okay, so under siege, haunted hives, which has a very long explanation. New bee on the block, surrounded. There can be only one. Oh, she just puns. Three generations, wildflower, uh, wildflower, and zombies. Another pun. So those are some of the campaigns, the long campaigns. Campaigns. Yes. Then here you got, okay, this is cool. We got bee dice. That's cool. Look at these dice. Look at the little design. That's so cool. They have like the little bee stripes and stuff. Okay, that's cool. So those are the bee dice. Very cool bee dice. Then in here we got some bees. Take out the little this. Bye bye. 
So here you go, you got the different color bees. You got pink, purple, green, yellow. So here's a pink bee here. So you got like the little bee body and the wings. Little thickness to it. No, very small, very cute. Although they're all the bees. Then you have some red cubes here. There we go. Nice and shiny. Very little. Nice quality. Put those back in the bag. And then we also have some blue cubes, which unlike the orange ones are more translucent. And here you go. The blue cubes. Same size as the red ones. Just kind of cooler looking. And I'm not biased or anything. It's not like my favorite color is blue. <clears throat> Anyways, next we got yellow cubes, which are still translucent and more than the orange and blue one. But there's a lot of them. So here you go. You got the yellow cubes, which remind me of honey. It might be honey tokens or something. Blue might be rain. Red might be... I don't know what red is. Pollen? Who knows? Then each player probably has one of these tokens. Well, pretty sure they do get the token. I don't know what they mean. Maybe they're point trackers or they're for something else. But you got one for each color. And then here you got a giant bee with another do not eat gel thingy inside. So let's take that out. I don't need you anymore. And then so here you got this giant bee. It's queen bee. And then you have the little weird mite things here. Which are actually pretty nice. They're just small, obviously see-through, as you can tell there. Little thickness to them. And very nice little pieces. Let's put those back in the bag. And then each player also gets a beehive. They don't get the gel thing, that's just extra. So we're gonna take that out. So here we got the hive. And there you go, this is the green one. Little beehive. And the very last thing we have in this game is this little bag here. It's nice and clothy. The design's only on one side, so bee lives. We will only know summer with the bee holding a die there. And so, that's pretty cool. So that was today's daily unboxing video of Bee Lives. We will only know summer. I'm Melody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.